Okay, in this scene, we're going to talk about antiphospholipid syndrome, and it's going to be represented by these ants over here who are very amused by these fossils that they found in the desert with the lips. Ant fossil lips for antiphospholipid syndrome. So, antiphospholipid syndrome is a disease in which antibodies attack phospholipids of the cell membranes or the proteins bound to the phospholipids. Antiphospholipid syndrome is an autoimmune disorder that could be primary or secondary. In primary, it happens by itself, and in secondary, it's secondary to a syndrome, usually SLE. So let's talk about it. So these ants over here on the fossils are all young females, and that's because antiphospholipid syndrome most commonly affects young or middle-aged females. And it presents with a history of excessive blood clotting. Thus, we have in this desert over here, randomly, these vessels over here with clots in them. Tell us, remember, the blood clots. The most common complication is deep vein thrombosis represented by this vein over here, this huge vein over here, with a trombone in it for deep vein thrombosis. Pulmonary embolism is another common complication. This slide over here came up in our SLE, slide for SLE video, systemic lupus erythematosus, to remind us that antiphospholipid syndrome shows up in about 20% of SLE patients. And these dolls over here show up in our miscarriage videos. Double so remember that patients with antiphospholipid syndrome have a history of multiple miscarriages in the second or third trimester, and it has an interesting mechanism. It's not because of the blood clots, but it's actually because of inhibition of trophoblastic invasion, which leads to a failure of placenta growth. And finally, let's talk about lab values. So for that, I'm going to name these three ants. These three ants, we're going to name them. This one is Ant Co, this one is Ant Car, and this one is Ant B. Ant Co, Ant Car, Ant B. And this is going to help us remember that in antiphospholipid syndrome, lab values will show lupus anticoagulant, anticardiolipin, which is used in syphilis serology. And as a side point, anticardiolipin antibodies can cause a false positive for syphilis, VDRL, RPR, as well as anti-beta glycoprotein 1. These antibodies will show up in antiphospholipid syndrome. In diagnosis, the lupus anticoagulant assay is performed in which there's a prolonged PTT time, and that is not corrected by the addition of normal platelet-free plasma. Treatment for antiphospholipid syndrome involves systemic anticoagulation. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on antiphospholipid syndrome. Take care.